Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to my garage. All right, so this is a clarifying video. I've noticed in my comments uh, on the last video that I put out that there were people saying that the prices are actually cheaper than what I was saying, and they are. Uh, if you go to Amazon and you look up LifePo battery on Amazon, you will get a plethora of choices. Many, 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 many choices. Uh, some are good, some are bad. How do you know which one a good one is and which one a bad one is? You can't just look at the rating on Amazon and say, oh, look, it's got four and a half stars. It must be a good battery. Those ratings mean nothing. I learned what a good battery, the difference between a good battery and a bad battery, I learned from DIY Solar with Will. If you've never been to his page, probably should go there. He does battery teardowns. He does huge systems. He does tiny systems. There's tons of information there. Uh, the only reason... I make my page as opposed to getting all my information from DIY Solar with Will's page. Is, is Will's in Las Vegas, I believe. Uh, sunny there a lot. His weather conditions are a lot different than mine. So I make my videos and chart things so people can understand what they would get on the 40 North anywhere here in the Midwest. Take a good look. This is what you get when you're looking at my videos. Anyway, let's go back to what a good battery is and a bad battery is. Will does tear down videos uh, where he cuts apart the batteries and he he judges them, he grades them. In some of his early videos that I watched, he graded the chins here uh, as a good battery. He took them apart, he liked them, that's why I started buying chins. Now, I don't think it was Will that actually cut apart a time USB. I think it was some other guy. I can't remember who it was. I, I wish I did. I like to give credit where credit is due. Uh, but somebody else did a tear down on a time USB battery uh, and said that it was nice on the inside. And I watched it and it certainly looked nicer than some of the others. Uh, for good information on what batteries are junk, uh, Will has a video on his page where he tears down a bunch of junk batteries. Don't buy any of those. Uh, if you just want a quick reference from me on batteries to buy, hey, time USB is a good battery. Redodo is a good battery. Lee time is a good battery. Chins is a good battery. Uh, any other ones? I think that might be it. Those are all good choices as far as quality. I've seen teardown videos on almost all of those, and everybody seems to be very happy with those. Bad batteries. Um, lots of those out there. Batteries you can't pronounce. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of those out there. Don't be fooled. Just because it's $100 cheaper than a Time USB doesn't mean it's worth it. So when you're looking at battery prices, just make sure you're looking at a quality battery. My title page has pictures of quality batteries on them. Uh, pick one of those. You'll do well. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. Have a good day and a better tomorrow. I don't know if you can see this, but I can see it from here. I'm going to go upstairs and we'll jump in here real quick. As you can see, she's up to 13.41. She's got the little refrigerator downstairs and the sump pump. On her, I'm going to go upstairs and put the big refrigerator on it for a couple days. It's cloudy out, but it'll get us through tomorrow easily. And when the sun comes out, everything will work out real good. All right. Well, that's it. See you.